Hello gorgeous so welcome to Weekly Astrology. There's a lot going on this week as we have Mercury, the planet of communication, going into hidden and mysterious and super psychic Scorpio. We have a full moon in Aries. Can you feel your passions and your desires rising? Here's your Weekly Astrology. Hello fabulous Leo. This week, there's a lot going on for you and it's kind of, there's a lot of almost contradictory energy around because on the one hand, you want to get cozy, you want to dig foundations, you want to feel secure in the world and make sure everything is okay for you to build solid foundations. But on the other hand, there's a call for adventure and a desire to spread your wings and be wild and be a little bit, you know, out there and, and not care about anything except pleasure and adventure and expansion and, and growth. So firstly, we have Mercury, the planet of communication, going into your home and family zone. So there's a lot of talk. You might be catching up with people. You might be talking about moving, redecorating, changing things around your home. You may be having really long and important and deep and profound conversations with your fam. Perhaps there's things that you need to discuss with your family or those closest to you. I believe that our family is not just, you know, blood. Our family is our soul uh, family, the people that we connect with, the people that feel like our family, that we've chosen to be our family. So all of lots of conversations with people that, that fit that bill this week. We then have Venus trying retrograde Mars. And obviously Venus is in your sign. So that's really, really powerful. There's an energy. In fact, it may even awaken a passion that you have for somebody in the past. It may rekindle your passion in a long-term relationship, for instance, you suddenly might feel desire again, but it's giving you a, a moment of clarity when it comes to your relationships. Of course, Mars is retrograde at the moment, but you know, I still feel that there's something unexpected and interesting and quirky coming to your love life this week. We then have the full moon in your wild zone. So you're like, whoa, you might decide to do something unexpected around that time, but uh, beyond that, the full moon is saying it's, it is time for you to expand. It doesn't mean you have to travel the world, which obviously is not possible at the moment, but it could mean that you're traveling in your soul, you're traveling in your intellect. There are many ways to explore and have adventures and the full moon is bringing you a message on which one is for you. Then we have Venus, the planet of love, going into, moving out of your sign and going into your security zone. So you're like, right, it's time to lay foundations. It's time to... Uh, nourish and nurture myself and, and decide what's important in my life. It's not just about relationships. It can be, you know, what I love. How can I build on that? Because so, obviously that gives you good vibes. If you're sort of working around and you're putting your energy into things that you love, people you love and, and self-care, then of course you are going to feel more secure. So I think it's a very positive thing, positive thing for you. Whatever you've brought into your life with Venus in your sign, you can now steady it out a bit let's see what the tower has to say my darling leos leo 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 i do think you are heading towards feeling much more secure within yourself anyway this week there's an offer there you might not be seeing that offer at the moment the five of cups it may be that you're focusing on this is what i want 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 to happen but guess what there may be something more fabulous for you out there that you're not quite seeing at the moment also, this is, I mean, maybe you are going on a journey, but this is the, the journey card, but it's also about balancing things. What I always say about the Two of Pentacles is, though, that when we balance things, we end up being a magician and we don't realise it. We end up uh, being able to handle things and, and deal with things. And ultimately, it, it frees us because we get so good at it that we, we can then travel and journey and do what we want. But fundamentally, find your balance this week and find... Your, your way through because there is great passion and, and possibility passion again we've got the lovers card so wherever you, you're putting your energy your love your desire it's growing this week and there is a peak experience when it comes to love passion or just feeling your life force surging through you take care gorgeous and i'll speak to you soon Michelle Knight.com. I was a client of Michelle Knight so i knew all of the the psychics and they'd read for me it's such a innovative and really useful organisation to have at your fingertips. 
There are a lot of people who they have an idea of what a psychic reading is. They have an idea of, you know, what a psychic should and shouldn't do. And a lot of it is from centuries gone by, you know, the, the carnival side show. And Michelle really has brought psychics into the modern world. Michelle Knight is a wonderful organisation to work for. It's a unique family and that is readers, the customer service operators. I know if I wanted to choose a reading, and I know I wouldn't go to another company. The ethics, the standard, the professionalism that we keep really is second to none. To be honest, I've never really looked at another reader service because uh, I don't think I need to. When I finally got a job, I, I pray that I will do well with all the tests that we go through. I was absolutely delighted. Well, the process of uh, being employed with Michelle Knight was, wasn't an easy one, which is always makes it more rewarding when you do actually pass the, the four test readings that you have to go through before you're accepted. The interview process is actually reading for other people, reading for some of Michelle's staff as well. It's actually, you know, what they're looking for specifics. So surname, relatives, their names, they're looking for what happened two, three years ago in detail. To be sitting at home and then the phone rings, and this beautiful, distinctive voice, it's Michelle Knight here, I'm ringing you for my test reading, is on the other end of the line, is scary. She, she really wants to know that her clients are getting validations. You get a sense that everybody running it is on the ball. The flexibility we get as readers, as well, it's just great. I do love the freedom of when I can work and when I can have a break. Michelle Knight family are amazing, really flexible, very supportive. It's like working for no other. It's authentic, that's a big thing, it's authentic. She genuinely cares about her readers and about the people that we read for, so it's inclusive. I love working for michellenight.com. They're great people, it's a great energy there. She really cares about her readers getting the best and she really cares about the clients coming and walking away, you know, and feeling like they got what they came for. Working with Michelle Knight, I know that I've got professional backup and I know that the clients are looked after very well as well. Michelle's very involved with her readers personally. If you need information, you need anything from her, she will reply personally. I just love being part of a unique team, one of the most unique companies that, that I've ever come across.